all right youtube family now what we have here is a situation of more confirmation what possibly could have happened was possibly accidents or even maybe even targeted we're going to talk about it first of all salute the fable from um d4l you feel me a lot of people from atlanta talk about the situation and our hearts is deeply with y'all now the autopsy reports for rapper takeoff just came out now Migos rapper takeoff was shot multiple times resulting in his death according to the reports from the medical examiner office now i'm gonna show you more clips and receipts but the thing about that is a lot of people were saying it was the one shot to the head and if you read what that witness that was the one that we didn't know which side he's really on but the witness that that's kind of one of the things he said he's seen the body of takeoff drop after he got hit in the head and after that he got hit again by a different person this is what the witness said so if it's a self situation it makes it 10 times worse because you know trees and flowers grow but life is only one life and it's senseless and let's keep reading this now the hair and no before we keep reading this i need y'all to do me one favor i don't beg for donations don't do none of the above so smash that like button for me hit that notification bell and come subscribe to the i smoke hip-hop live platform i'm your guy dj bless one thank you for watching another episode of i smoke hip-hop live salute to the ladies and gentlemen in the room you feel me so now the next snippet was this the harris county medical examiner listed takeoff's primary cause of death as penetrating gunshot wounds of head and torso into arm that mean it probably it went in and went out the other way it probably went in the arm and went through the torso or went through the torso and went out the arm now it appears the office has concluded its investigation as they also state takeoff's body is ready for pickup for funeral services man just in a nutshell reading it like that it kind of makes you uncomfortable you're just reading some of the things and it's like man did life really go away like i'm gonna read some more that they had to share with y'all so i'm gonna post this here right now y'all bear with me but reading the examiner's note is it's a tough one if it finds out that it was home team who did it and we can forgive them because none of that was on purpose but it's just that the situation is going to get people mad they're going to feel like why even put yourself in a situation like that or why even and i'm not I, notice i didn't say no names because whatever side it was i'm not calling nobody out it's sad all around and it breaks my heart to see young people like that not live to their full potential not even in the music industry Street, but in life in general now let's read this together Migos member takeoff died at the age of 28 on Tuesday November 1st takeoff whose real name was Kershink let me say it properly Kershink no Kershink Kari Ball I'm gonna be on my pronunciation sucks for years now and y'all know that and it says was fatally shot while attending a you know a private event at a bowling alley which was the 810 bowling alley in houston texas and police chief troy finner confirmed during a press conference on tuesday afternoon investigator michael errington revealed that two other individuals were sent to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries takeoff label quality control said the artist was killed by a stray bullet calling it senseless violence in a statement to page six it is with broken hearts and deep sadness that we mourn the loss of our beloved brother which is takeoff now after reading that they said the monumental loss we are devastated we don't know how to handle this the incident occurred amid an argument following y'all know already the so-called dice party now tmz had reported basically that the events you know what i'm saying that was held at 810 billards and bowling in downtown houston the party was attended approximately by 40 to 50 people while the shooting took place around 2 40 a.m you know what i mean so they want you to understand it's a lot going on now following now people wanted to know what is takeoff's cause of death now following the shooting houston police confirmed that one victim was found dead with a gunshot wound to his head or neck now we learned by the autopsy that let's put that back on the screen according to the autopsy it was multiple surrounding areas of his body meaning the torso and the head area so maybe it is the neck or the head but 
that particular area. Let's continue reading. Now, they found Takeoff dead with a gunshot room in those areas. The authorities arrived at the scene of the crime. Two other victims were taken in a private, basically, vehicle to the hospital. On November 2nd, the Harris County Medical Examiner confirmed that Takeoff cause of death was penetrating gunshot wounds of the head and torso into his arm. Now, Takeoff uncle, fellow Migos member Quavo, was present at time of the incident. According to photos published by TMZ, Quavo was seen kneeling by someone following the incident. Now, people were asking what was Takeoff best known for? Well, he had a lot of basically hits what else do you call catalogs that's nothing but hits i mean my personal opinion this guy when he was in a polo club situation you remember that the name polo club they had um it was three men and eventually they changed their name to the amigos they released their full length album we all remember it right during that drill movement it was like who is with these dudes even drake took notice that was around august in 2011 i remember they debut solo album young rich nation you feel me it was basically released maybe i think a few years later after that first one 2015 and i remember like they had a lot of releases during that time y'all remember the culture 2017 that was beatles legacy right there and in 2008 they had the culture i mean uh, in two, january 2018 they came out with remember the culture two i think culture three was like last year yeah 2021 i'm a i'm a fan of these guys bro and so it's just heartening to know this this musician also is a solo musician too i wanted to see his rise being a solo artist i'm not gonna lie of y'all man some of takeoff hits including things like man remember intruder that shit went brazy intruder intruder like his his accent and his voice and his flow is phenomenal how he handles that now the last memory he did hotel lobby unkin few he did us versus them big stunner nothing changed i mean even the stir fry i know there was all of them but even the stir fry it, it, it shows you his his talent ways bro so man it's just too much a lot of things man i know takeoff also never confirmed being married though he was romantically linked to dream doll ruby rose lakaya darche for over years now you feel me but man my heart goes out to him and his family and over here at the i smoke hip-hop live platform we try to get it correctly and we try to do it right we ain't getting nobody in trouble we ain't disrespecting the dead we got to respect the living and respect the dead i say it goes both ways both can tangle now the streets and what it is man i don't tell people stay dangerous anymore forget saying all that stay safe then you never have to worry about staying danger so we're always going to keep it natural like we did in the old days stay safe ladies and gentlemen always remember love your family love your kids stay blessed hit the like button hit the notification bell subscribe to the i smoke hip-hop live platform i'm your guy dj bless one salute